The Washington Post reports that the government effort to repair the damage from Hurricane Katrina is fostering a stark divide as the state governments in Louisiana and Mississippi structured the rebuilding programs in ways that have often offered the most help to the most affluent residents. The result, advocates say, has been an uneven recovery, with whites and middle-class people more likely than blacks and low-income people to have rebuilt their lives in the five years since the horrific storm. James Perry, executive director of the Greater New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center, said, quote, The recovery is really a tale of two recoveries. For people who were well off before the storm, they're more likely to be back in their homes, back in their jobs, and to have access to good health care. For those who were poor or struggling to get by before the storm, the opposite is true. Louisiana's program to distribute grants to property owners whose homes were damaged or destroyed by Katrina was found by a federal judge this month to discriminate against black homeowners. Meanwhile, in Mississippi, state officials refused to offer rebuilding grants to property owners who suffered wind damage, explaining that the property owners should have carried private insurance. That rule hit low-income and black homeowners particularly hard, advocates say, because many of them were uninsured, often because they owned property that was passed down through the generations. African Americans are more than twice as likely as whites to say they have not yet recovered after Katrina, the survey found, and blacks in the city are two and a half times as likely to be low-income than whites. That's because we have no money, the money. We would have the money and uh, the help that we need, it, it could be faster, but other than that, we stop. We gotta live off of paycheck after paycheck. Half the time I gotta go without my medicine because I gotta pay my mortgage, I gotta get my lights paid, my water paid. 